Hello, welcome to uh, Geography 312, Introduction to GS Programming. This is a course that I'm teaching uh, at the University of Tennessee uh, for 2024. And um, I'm, I'll be recording the videos uh, in class and I'll post the videos uh, twice a week uh, on YouTube. So you're welcome to uh, follow this class. Uh, you're going to learn how to uh, do GS programming. Uh, if you have don't, don't have any programming background, but you would like to learn how to do uh, GS programming, um, this might be helpful for you. So uh, here's the website that we're going to use uh, throughout the semester. Geography, uh, GOG-312, .gs uh, you're welcome to navigate to this website to find the uh, course con content. And the link is also in the description below. You're welcome to uh, go through the, uh, the syllabus and also the schedule. And uh, in the first five to six weeks, we are going to cover the basics uh, about uh, Python, uh, the programming language. And then we get into geospatial uh, here. And we're going to cover a variety of uh, Python packages. Uh, for example, uh, DeepMap, uh, GMap, MapLibre, and also, uh, for example, GeoPanda and Raster.io. So we're going to cover a variety of topics about uh, in terms of data visualization and also some simple data analysis. So uh, on the left side here, you see the three different parts uh, about me, the syllabus, and also uh, the schedule. You're welcome to go through it. So this is uh, a class twice a week. Tuesday and Thursday in the afternoon and I will record the videos and then put it uh, on YouTube uh, probably the same day and um, the schedule you can see here we have uh, 16 weeks and so we're going to use almost 14-15 uh, weeks for the lectures and the last uh, two weeks for uh, final project and also uh, presentations also the left side here you will find all the uh, software packages going, we're going to use uh, throughout this course for example miniconda visual studio code and also git so most of the time we're going to use for example visual studio code but you're also welcome to use uh, google collab and also Jupyter lab on your local computer and these are some of the commonly used tools that we're going to use uh, throughout the semester and then uh, in terms of the python uh, basics we're going to cover for example data type data structure and also looping functions and classes and also files and exceptional handling so these are the, basically the um, building blocks of doing GS programming. So you do need to know some of this. If you're new to programming, this uh, might be helpful for you. Um, and uh, once you're uh, familiar with the basics, then we get into the geospatial side of the uh, programming. So we're going to cover these packages for, for example, commonly used one, GeoPandas and Raster.io and also LeafMap. So this uh, tutorial is right now here are uh, all very tentative. Uh, I'm going to update the contents throughout the semester. Right now, basically just a placeholder and some some uh, sample codes for you to uh, look through. And at the end, we're going to cover some more advanced uh, analysis for using, for example, uh, segment geospatial and also hyper codes for doing hyperspectral data visualization. And for each week, we're going to have a lab exercise. So in total, we're going to have 10 uh, 10 uh, lab assignments. Uh, you're welcome also to try out those lab assignments and to practice what we have learned uh, in this course. Also, there's a source box in here. You are welcome to source anything. Uh, for example, I can search leafmap and just hit enter. You will easily find all the contents that contain uh, leafmap. Uh, here, upper right corner, you can actually click to go to the uh, um, GitHub repository. So this is all the contents. So all the source code will be within the booked uh, directory. And also, for example, Python. So you're going to find uh, Jupyter Notebook and also Markdown uh, contained here. You're welcome to clone this uh, repository to your, com your computer. Or you can just uh, give a star or uh, fork the repo to your account uh, if you want to. And um, also, you can download the notebook as a PDF or as a Markdown. And you can also turn, if you want like the dark mode, you can use the dark mode, uh, something like in here. So, for example, you can uh, go to any uh, notebooks and then upper right corner here, uh, you can click, for example, open the notebook in Google Collab or Binder. So, uh, I would recommend using Google Collab because it's faster and you do need to have a Google account in you know, order to execute the code block. So, once you open the Google Collab, then you can just run and then run anyway. You should be able to go through uh, one by one. So, the first, first couple of weeks, we're going to cover the Python basics. This mostly we just use the Python the built-in libraries, so you don't need to install anything. But for the geospatial um, GS programming, we do need to install the Python packages. And I'm going to show you how to do that in uh, 
when we get there so again you're welcome to try these things out if there's any specific package that you want me to cover you're also welcome to uh, leave a comment so i will show you here all the class discussions will be posted on the github repository under the discussion board in here so you're welcome to create a new um discussion and um welcome your um suggestions and uh, comments and yeah so that's i think what i want to cover in this lecture i hope you um find it useful and i look forward to uh, working with you as throughout the semester you don't need to raise this register for this course um, um only the utk students can register this course and get access to the uh, lab submission website and if you're external to utk then you can just follow the videos and then you can do the exercise uh, on your own uh, but all the material will be open access so you're welcome to follow this website to the, get the most up-to-date content uh, about this course and again i will record the videos in class when i'm teaching it so i will upload videos uh, twice a week Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I look forward to uh, the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.